Luke, Tom, and Nate here with Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, and it is 5.30 in the morning. And are you guys glad to be up? No. Is that right? Yeah. I grew up, grew up in Anchorage. There we go. Look at him. What we have here is the Talkeetna River off to our left. It's a big, powerful, glacier-fed river. And it's got all this silt in it from the glaciers. And you can see over here, this is Clear Creek, named because it's clear, and the two merge together. Now, as the salmon are coming upstream, a lot of them will take a break in the clear water right there along that seam. And then, of course, there's a lot of salmon going upstream to spawn in Clear Creek as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck out eggs, salmon eggs under a bobber and drift them right through these pods. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's probably 500 pink salmon right here, just about 15 feet off the tips of my fingers. This spot has all five species of salmon. Kings, sockeye, silvers, chums, pinks, they're all in here. It's a little late for kings, so there are only a few here and they're really red. And uh, sockeyes are hard to fish for with these techniques, but we've got a very legitimate chance of catching chums and silvers, but probably mostly silvers. Also dollies and rainbows are in here and they're big too. Really common to catch 18 inch plus rainbows here accidentally while fishing for silvers. This is our bait. That is cured salmon eggs. Put this cure, like a Pro Cure makes it, the salmon egg cure. Keeps it from rotting, toughens that up a little bit, adds some extra color and flavor. By the way, this works really good with chicken livers if you're catfishing. You can cure chicken livers and it does the same thing, toughens them up. But we're gonna take little globs of salmon eggs under a bobber and those silvers are gonna slurp it down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got him? Fish yep. on. All right. Acting like a silver. Yeah. yeah, that's salmon fishing. When it's on, it's on. There you go. All right. Oh, oh. Maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. So down the lower 48, you guys have live wells. Here in Alaska, we have dead wells. <laughs> also called a cooler. There we go. What we're doing is we're using octopus hooks with what's called an egg loop knot. It's kind of like a snell, but you have this little bit, this loop that's retractable, and you use it to pin your bait to the shank of the hook. So it keeps your eggs from flying off as much when you're casting. This is a really great trick for any time you're fishing with soft baits that want to come off the hook. Can you see the bobber? Can you see the bobber, Nate? Yeah. Okay, if you see that bobber, go down and stay down, flip your bail, and then reel like a champion. Oh, you got a bite, you got a bite. You got a bite. Flip it, flip it, reel it, reel it hard, jerk him. Real, 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 buddy. Keep that, remember, keep the rod tip up in the air. Yeah, let that, yeah. there you go. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. That's bigger than daddy's. Right, that wouldn't take much. <laughs> Whoa, that one's fighting, buddy. Oh, he's, he's freaking out. That's a big one. Good, good. What swim? Oh, <laughs> big fish of the day, Tom. Oh, my. Nice one, bud. Yes, that is a big silver, but you know what? None of us are gonna catch a silver as good as mom. You know, mom's caught a bigger silver than I've ever caught. There you go, Tom. Daddy, I think I need There you go, you buddy, are. you got nice one. one. Look at that. All right. Oh, a first, a first pink salmon. Here, here hold this, hold this. Hold this. Yeah, it looks almost like a rainbow trout. All right, we're gonna let him go. That's a pink. Oh, I actually thought it was a silver. Oh, oh, it's up. actually nice a release. small pink too on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> of all the species of salmon we're likely to catch today, silvers are the most popular to eat. And your limit, it doesn't really matter which salmon you catch, you're only allowed three salmon. 
So we're letting go the pinks and keeping the silvers. Additionally, if you're going to keep a salmon, you want them chrome colored. You want them as bright silver as you can. As the salmon come upstream, they start to take on their individual colors. And that pink we caught, that's an example of the pink spawning color. So that one's no longer chrome. That's why we let it go. Okay. Look at that, as soon as we got grandpa out of there, your bad luck went away. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's great. Oh no, it's a, a rainbow. rainbow. What a rainbow. Oh, look at that. It's all over Grandpa. Oh, good thing he's got the trout net handy. <laughs> look at the size of that rainbow. Hey, Here, hold the hold him tight. Oh, hold the look at look at that. Oh. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was a beautiful rainbow. That was bigger than Grandpa's pink. Thomas. All right, bud, keep feeling. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a big dolly. I knew Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful dolly. All right, guys, this is a dolly varden. Okay, it's a type of char. It's got skin instead of scales, kind of like a catfish does. And uh, just a beautiful fish. They, they generally are just a hair smaller than rainbows on average, but look, that is a monster. That is a beautiful fish. It's got these pink spots on them. All right. It's a pirate. Oh, we'll put him in the water. Put it, there you go. <laughs> it feels like a chum. He was acting chumish. Yeah, he was. <laughs> the lag neck. Oh, Over big here. chum. You can catch a there we go. That's a beautiful one. Well, those chum salmon are just loads of fun. God. You know what, Nathan? If you land this, you'll have the most silvers in the cooler. You'll be ahead. Not a chance you're going to land it. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Catch him, catch him. Catch him. Oh, that's a nice yeah, one. That's a nice silver. That's not a tiny one at all. A male. It is a male. A nice one. Oh, we got a double here. Nate's got a fish. Grandpa's got a fish. Get that chum in the net here. Yeah, I want to pitch it at me. And that is why they call them humpies. The big males get this hump on their back. Look at that beauty. That's about as big as, as pinks get. They don't get a ton bigger than that. All right, let's set that, that hook is somewhere. Thanks, huge. Yeah, it is, buddy. That's the biggest salmon you've ever Hold caught. over the water here. Nice. <laughs> All right, there we go, Dad. Oh, it's a silver. This one's probably gonna get off. <laughs> there we go. Keep your rod tip up. Keep your rod tip up. There you go. Yeah, you got pink salmon. There you go. That's good. Oh, that's good enough. That's far enough. Here, you want to hold them? Good job. Here, you want to throw them back? Here. Here, grab. Oh, there, there he goes, he's off. Nathan's got one. Want to just sit on the log? Oh, Nathan's got one. Tom's got another one down there. Look at the teeth on these guys. Let's see, should I put my fingers in his mouth? Sure, why not? They're nice. Pink Sam, you want to hold him? Woo there we go. That looks like a silver to me. Oh, that one's got a seal, oh, seal hole in him. Oh, look at the seal wound on him. Ah, beautiful fish. Seal got a piece of him, probably. Yeah. That's a number seven. Oh. A pink. Pink. Yeah, I just really confused. Oh yeah. Tom, you're a pink catching fool. Nathan, you want to do what Tommy's doing and catch tons of pinks? Yeah. This is eight. Yeah, <laughs> number eight. Number eight. Number oh, eight. hold that rod up. Hold that rod up. Fast, fast, rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to use a lot of strength on every one. That's a humpy. Like a humpty dance. <laughs> Tommy, is this so much fun? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Just right there, you see that bobber? Oh, watch this, we're gonna get it. It's almost every cast with these. The thing with salmon is they come up so shallow in the water. I mean, it's only like 12, 18 inches of water and there's hundreds of them right in there. 
you don't have to cast far, you don't have to cast deep to catch tons of salmon. Yeah, Tom, you want to try casting it? That was close. That's... There you go. Perfect! That'll work. Oh, Tom, Tom, look, look. Oh. And uh, um, bait. There you go. You got no, there you go, Tom. Keep reeling, buddy. The acrobatic. I know it's a peak. Nice one. This is about my 11. Yeah. The bo both boys are fishing for pinks here. I can't blame them. Those are loads of fun and there's loads of them. Tommy, is this number like 12 or 13 for you? This is 12. 12. 12. Good job, Nate. Right. Now that's good right there. Right. Look at you lassoed him, Nate. Nathan, man, you're tearing him up. Towards you. Yeah, yeah, real, real, hard, real like a like a chip. Big old buck. Look at the hump on that guy. <laughs> Look at that. That is a massive, massive humpy. Back here. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. I think that's number three for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful wild rainbow? Look at the spots on him. Whoop! And he's gone. All right, guys, we're out here with Phantom River Charters, and I'm gonna put a link in the description to their information. Not only will they take you on fishing charters, but they'll take you up and down the river, find a good salmon spot, and drop you overnight and let you camp. And they'll do it for a fraction of the price. So if I were you guys and coming up to Alaska, what I would do is come here, do one of their regular charters, figure out how to fish it, what gear to use, all the tactics, get comfortable, and then come and have them drop you off and do camping trips for the rest of the week. It goes right into my noodle. <laughs> right into my noodle. Yes, it is. All right. All right. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Keep Must running, buddy. not lose him. Wow! All right. This this is your 18th pink. Holy mackerel! Oh, the beautiful rainbow. Gorgeous rainbow. Oh, you hooked the sockeye? Oh, awesome! Man, we're gonna get we're gonna get a four to four out of five species here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. just hooked a red salmon or a sockeye. So we've hooked into four species of salmon on one trip. That's pretty want, awesome. Tommy has probably landed 20 to 30 fish. No, it's 21. Jonah's number pink. This is number 22. Tommy was in the middle of like catching his like 40 billionth pink here. And uh, I think he's hooked a chum. Come on, keep that rod tip up, buddy. Rod tip up. Don't worry. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, bud. That is a big fish. Oh, yeah. Nathan, you got one. All Look at you hook. Yeah, you hooked that all by yourself. Keep reeling. Whoa. We've probably put 50 fish in the boat. It's in four hours. It's been amazing. We're going to go back and clean them and uh then we're gonna cook them up and i'm gonna show you guys some pretty cool recipes buddy. yep that seems about right That is a thing of beauty right there. Yeah, that, that is a pile of salmon flesh. Now we're gonna go take those flays home and I'm gonna show you some pretty cool recipes because I love, love smoked salmon. I'm gonna be using a teriyaki brine. 
So let me walk you through what you do. In order to smoke fish, you have to brine it first. You need something salty to cure the meat. We're gonna use soy sauce. I'm gonna use about a gallon of soy sauce and I'm gonna heat it up on the stove. I'm gonna add ginger. I'm gonna add an entire clove of garlic and I'm gonna add enough sugar where it starts to taste sweet like teriyaki sauce. Then I'm going to add about a quarter of a gallon of water and then I'm gonna soak all the salmon overnight in the brine. The next day, I'm gonna take it out and let it drip dry until it gets tacky to the touch. Usually takes several hours. Then we smoke it. One problem is that you cannot buy a smoker in Anchorage right now. They are completely sold out. So I'm gonna borrow my brother's smoker to do half the fish, and I'm gonna build another smoker using cheap materials from Walmart to smoke the second half of the fish. I've got a $10 hot plate from Walmart. I've got one of these little storage racks. And then I have a six by eight tarp and I bought the cheapest pot in Walmart. Though you can use a tin can or a coffee can. We got a thing of apple pellets on top of the burner. We'll see if it starts smoking. All right, let's check our smoker out, see how she's doing. There we go, that smoker's really going. Oh yeah. All right guys, it's the next morning and the salmon's been smoking for 24 hours. Like I, I like jerky style salmon, especially since I'm gonna be transporting it back to Virginia. I want it nice and dry and tight. Um, and you can see here, my homemade smoker, it is still, producing smoke. Look at that. <coughs> you always got to sample the product here. Now here you can see we've got two different types of salmon. They've both been cooked the same way. This is a pink salmon and this is a silver salmon. Oh, my brother's professional grade smoker here keeps a higher temperature and maintains it a lot longer than my do-it-myself smoker. So the meat here is done a lot more thoroughly, but this is just perfect. Now you can see the difference in the fillets between the do-it-yourself smoker and the professional smoker. You'll see that it's, it's quite good. Look at that. Mmm. It's more like salmon jerky. I like it. Well guys, there you go. We've got about 10 pounds of delicious smoked salmon that I'm gonna take back and give out to my neighbors. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you like this sort of thing. If you wanna see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe and check out our Catch and Cook playlist. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next Saturday.